and love getting this example through here from Emily from uh, Monday. We were doing our measures investigation and looking for how we can use different body parts to measure different things. So, th so this one, uh, a plait. Well, I don't think I could do that with my hair to measure with. Uh, a thumb and my whole body. And we have all those different um, things that we were measuring. The height of a table, length of a pencil, and the length of the widest room in all of the units. Now it's funny this, because actually I was doing this um, at home and uh, my, I've got a daughter who's five years old in reception and she decided she would measure our, our longest room and she did it in cow cartwheels. Um, so you'll have to imagine what a cow cartwheel might be for a five-year-old, but great to explore. And we're going to develop that understanding further. And this time we're looking specifically at time and converting between different units of time. Uh, so it's going to be a really good one. I have a little warm-up activity for you around measures. So predict which line is the shortest and which line do you think is the longest? Now you won't be able to do the measuring, I'm going to do the measuring, but which one do you think is the shortest? Which one the longest by how much? How do you know? Uh, so pause the video. What, what do you think there? So I hope you've predicted which one line you thought was the shortest and which one you thought was the longest. All right, time to measure and see. Um, so let me have a look. That I think is 6.3 centimetres. I'm going to just draw a pink line. You might just about be able to see it on my ruler. That's how long the green line is. Okay, and then the one that I thought was probably next longest looked like the red one. So let's have a look. Hmm, that's the same. That's 6.3 centimetres. And then the one that I think definitely looks the longest is the blue one. So let's see how long. I wonder, so if these two are 6.3 centimetres, I wonder how long this one is. Let's have a look. Hang on a minute. That's 6.3 centimetres as well. Well, everyone, it's a little bit of an optical illusion because your brain almost tricks you. By seeing these lines coming inwards, it makes this green line looks shorter and seeing these lines going up it makes the blue line appear to be longer but only by measuring can we see well actually they're exactly the same length they're all 6.3 centimeters long so today we are powering on from yesterday when we were looking at different forms of measure um, so have a look at these examples here these four examples and I want you to think which measuring unit would you use uh, for these measurements here. So let's say this competitor's in a 60 metre race. So we know the race is 60 metres long, but how are we going to measure their performance? What unit will we use? What about flour when we're baking cakes? Um, your height, um, how will we measure that one? And what about competitors in a marathon? Now, let me give you a suggestion. We're, we're not going to use the thermometer to measure the temperature, but what, what measuring unit will we use? Um, pause the video and have a think about these four. Okay, let's start with flour when baking cakes. Now, unless it's an absolutely enormous cake, it'll be grams. Um, uh, so we're measuring its weight rather than kilograms. And again, unless you're making like the world's biggest ever cake. Um, your height, now you're, you might well be slightly taller than one meter, but it's likely you'd measure your height in centimeters because you can be a bit more precise when you're doing that. And these races, well, in a 60 meter race, that would often be finished in seconds, like minutes would be too long to measure such a short race. Whereas a marathon, well, wow, it would be measured in hours and minutes and maybe seconds. But generally, if people were saying how fast they were to run a marathon, they'd tell you how many hours it took and how many minutes. Today, we're, we're looking at time. Um, now, this is a slightly ironic heading, and I'll explain why in a moment, but we're looking at different units of time and how time can be described and measured. Um, so, um, there's lots of different units of time that we can use. Seconds are very short periods of time, weeks, minutes, months, hours, years, days. It depends how long the period of time is, really, which unit we'd use to measure in. Um, so, pause the video and have a think about these examples. Which unit would you use to measure them in? Okay, so the time it takes to eat a meal, well, I think for that one, we'd probably measure that one in minutes. I hope it wouldn't be finished in seconds, but equally, it would certainly take less than days or hours, so minutes most likely there. The time it takes a sunflower to grow 20 centimetres taller, well, that one, I think, would be more like we would measure that perhaps in weeks, um, even maybe months, 
But I know that some flowers grow, grow quite quickly, so that one I think we'd measure in weeks. A time it takes for a child to go 20 centimetres taller. Well, we're not quite as fast at growing as sunflowers. That one we'd have to measure over the course of years. To run a 100 metre race, again that one, I think we'd just measure that one in seconds. And the length of time until Christmas, I would say it's a while off yet. So that one, I'm still measuring in months. Now, have a think about this example here. So Dan, poor Dan, he fell off his bike. He broke his arm and he grazed his knee. So fill in the gaps to show what the doctor said to him. And think about the units of time that the doctor will have used here. Um, so pause the video and have a go at these ones. Okay, so let's have a look. So this doctor, he'd say, your current heart rate, how quickly your heart beats. We tend to measure the beats per minute. That's 70 beats a minute would be about normal. So children need a bit more than this, but you need to get eight. Well, that would be hours of sleep. We'd, we'd measure the amount of sleep we get per night in hours. Your knee will be better. Well, if it's a graze, it'll probably be better in a few days, but it generally takes about six to eight weeks for an arm to heal. And there's the appropriate units of measure. Now, the title for today was looking at time, looking at time. The ironic thing about that, I always like to show visual representations and show what time or, or what numbers and maths, what it looks like. But actually, we can't actually look at time at all. I, I, I could use a sand timer and that would show how much sand passes through a timer, in this case, in five minutes. Um, but I can't see time. I can't represent it by like a number of dots because it doesn't really work like that. If we imagine a child's age and let's say the child is born and then they had their first birthday and then the second, then the third and they're coming up to the fourth. Then we say, how old are they? We say they are three. Now, of course, that doesn't mean they've been alive for exactly three years. It's just that's the, the, the number of years they've completed. This child, you could say by this picture, this line is almost showing they're actually nearer to four years old than three years old. But we say their age is three. That's how many years they've been alive. Whereas, of course, before they're one, we just have to measure their age in months or maybe when they're very young in weeks or, 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 or even maybe in days or even when they're really, really young, just in hours. But time, I can never really see it. I often use a line to try and represent time passingly. Now, we've got these different measures for time. Seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months and years. And um, seconds, well, 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week. Now, weeks to months is an unusual one because there's four and most months, there's four and a little bit weeks in a month and then 12 months in a year. Now I've put this picture here and have a look at this green line. This green line represents one minute, but it also represents 60 seconds. It's the same length of time. It's just different ways of saying it. Now here, if I extend that green line then, then there's two different ways I can describe this length of time here. One is I could count it in minutes. I could say this is four minutes, four lots of one minute. Equally, four minutes is 240 seconds because that it, each minute is 60 seconds. So it's four lots of 60 seconds. Uh, four lots of 60 is, is 240. Similarly, a day is 24 hours. So one day, 24 hours, the same period of time. I'm just describing it in different ways, using different measures of time to describe it. So, well, two days is two lots of 24 hours. That would be 48 hours. Again, same length of time, just a different way of saying it. Now, have a think about these examples to finish our video today. Would you rather finish a race in a time of three minutes or a time of 200 seconds? Which one's faster? Go on a two week holiday or a 10 day holiday. And would you rather have a party that's two hours long or 100 minutes long? Pause the video and have a think about those ones. Okay, let's have a think. So minutes, three minutes. So each minute is 60 seconds. So 60 and 60 and 60 in total, that's a, um, 180 seconds is three minutes. And that's actually faster than 200 seconds. So I would rather finish in three minutes than in 200 seconds. Now, would I rather go on a two week holiday or a 10 day holiday? Well, I guess it depends if I like where I've gone on holiday, maybe. Uh, I like it, being at home as well, but if I'm really enjoying my holiday, two weeks, of course, is longer. It's two lots of seven days, which is more than 10 days. A party that's two hours long or 100 minutes long, well, each hour is 60 minutes. 
So if I'm enjoying, enjoying my party, two lots of 60 minutes is 120 minutes. I think I'd rather have the two hour party than the 100 minute one. Again, that's assuming I'm enjoying my party, which I would be. So for today's task, click on the blue link underneath the video. Um, for task A, have a look. Part one, for each of these pairs in each different colour, circle the longer length of time. So which of these two red ones is the longer length? Which of the two green ones is the longer length of time? How do you know? And then part two, complete the sentences. So two minutes is the same as how many seconds and so on. Uh, task B is similar-ish, except these three lengths of time, you've got to order them from the shortest length of time to the longest. Have a think about which of those units you could convert those lengths of time into. There's also an extend task. The answer's at the bottom. Uh, I'll see you for more work on measures tomorrow.